Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to set up or install RabbitMQ server on Windows Server 2019 in Azure. Do not worry, I'll put the link in the description of this video. With this image, you will have all the prerequisite installed into your Windows Server with your RabbitMQ. So you just need to come to this page and click on get it now button. And from this page, just click on create and leave everything as it is. Then it will take you to a new page that says create a virtual machine. From here, choose your subscription and down here we have a resource group. Either you can create a new group or you can choose an existing one. I'll go with cloud infrastructure services group. Down here we have virtual machine name. You can name it anything. I'll name it as rabbit. After that, here we have a region, availability options, then we have availability zones. You can change these options as per your liking. I'll come down and here is the image and make sure you have the right one in your image section. Down here we have the size of our system that we are going to use and down here we have a username. You can change it as well. I'll change it as RabbitMQ. I'll keep everything as small. And then down here, we have to set up our password. I'll just do that. After that, confirm your password. So I'll just do that as well. And now we are good to go. After you are done with this step, just click on review and create. And here it says validation pass. It means we are ready to create our virtual machine. So I'll just click on this create button. And here it is initializing our deployment. It will take a little bit of time. So be patient and wait for it. And this is the final step here the deployment is in progress so our deployment is complete here now we need to click on go to resource we are done here and it is working pretty fine from here you need to copy this public ip address because we'll need in order to connect to our remote connection server there are two ways either you can copy this one or you can click on connect and click on rdp but first of all let's search for remote desktop connection it will open something like this now here you need to copy your public ip address that we had just copied after that click on connect here it is asking about the username so right here the username that you have set earlier while you were creating your virtual machine in my case, it was RabbitMQ and here we need to enter the password that we had set earlier. Now click on OK. It will prompt you with something like this. Do not worry, just click on Yes. And here we have successfully created or you can say we have made a remote desktop connection. If it doesn't work like that, just go to your connect and click on RDP. It will open your RDP. It will open something like this. From here, you just need to download this RDP file and just click on it. It will open your connection on its own, but still you have to give your username and your password. But we are okay with the first step or first way. So I'll just go back to my Windows Server 2019. I'll just maximize it. From here, first of all, open the command prompt of RabbitMQ. First of all, I'll write here Rabbit mqctl space status hit enter at the moment this is not running well do not worry we have a solution and we can get rid of this problem first of all open your file explorer and from here go to your c drive so i'll just go to my c drive after that you just need to go to your users after that here you will see a folder with the username that you had created here it is i'll just go to this one and from here you see a file that says dot erlang dot cookie just copy this file and go back to your c drive and from here go to your windows then you need to look for system here it is system 32 just go to that from here go to your config folder here it is from this folder go to your system profile folder and just paste the file that you had copied earlier here it says replace the file in destination just click on it and do not worry about anything we are done with this step now i'll close this and here we need to write some of the command and now we need to restart our rabbit mq service first of all i'll write here rabbit mq dash service dot bat space stop 
because first I'll stop it and then I'll start it. It will take a little bit of time and here it says service is stopping. So we'll wait for it. We are done with the stop. Now we need to start our service again. So I'll use the same command, but this time instead of stop, I'll write here start, hit enter. Now it will start our service. Here the service is start. Now let's check the status of our server, if it is working or not. So I'll use the command rabbit mqctl space status, hit enter. And here you can see it says connection count zero, queue count zero, virtual host count one. It means it is working pretty fine and we do not have any problem. And now we need to log in into RabbitMQ management. So for that purpose, open your browser. And from here, we need to go to an IP address. And that is localhost colon 15672. Just hit enter. Username is guest and password is also guest. After that, click on login. Here we are. We have successfully logged in into our RabbitMQ management. So from here, you can perform different things. You can perform different tasks and you can manage your rabbit mq as well and that brings us to the end of this video if you have anything to ask leave a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible and don't forget to check out the page for step-by-step -step guide on how to set up install a rabbit mq server on windows server 2019 in azure and also don't forget to check out the image on marketplace the links are given in the description and if you have loved watching this video and if this video was any help to you please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon i'll get back to you in the next video